What's going on everyone? After the last episode did so well about composting coffee grounds through worms, I thought I'd get the daughter involved doing some top dressing with these coffee grounds as well. So we got ourselves stuck in and we actually ran out of coffee grounds. So that gives me the opportunity to show you another method for drying coffee grounds if you need to store them and why this is a really good time to think about top dressing your pots and fertilizing ready for autumn. We're back with our trusty IKEA boot tray. And this is today's coffee grounds. They came to me incredibly wet. So what I've done is these have gone into the oven at about 180 degrees on the bottom shelf while I was making my dinner. So now that it's all nice and hot, I'm going to pour it out. Steamy. Now, unlike last time, it took a few days to dry completely. This should be dried within a few hours. By the time it's cool, we should be good to go. Back to the garden now. So you'll notice I'm getting the daughter to add probably about a cup of coffee grounds to each 30 litre pot here. These are blueberries, so again, if you're concerned about acidity, just go and use it on some ericaceous plants. But I assure you, it's really not going to cause any pH issue or anything. Once on the pots, give it a nice scratch in, smooth it out, get it all nice and even, because we don't want it to start clumping on top of the medium. Perfect. Now, it is a really good time a year in the autumn to get this done. So then you've got the entire winter time for it to start breaking down and really get the nutrients available for next spring for these plants. Making sure, obviously, to water them in really well. Coffee grounds, for some reason, can soak up quite a lot of moisture, but it's always a lot nicer to work with them when they're drier. I find they wash into the pots a lot more nicely. It will be top dressing a camellia plant. Uh, coffee grounds are again really good for ornamentals. It's worth considering though I believe geraniums can be affected and inhibit the growth when using coffee grounds. So if there are any specific varieties that you're looking at and your concerns, always double check. But Camellia is going to absolutely love the extra nitrogen and the extra potassium phosphorus and really get it rocking. Uh, coffee grounds are also said to, to discourage some pests. Um, I believe it's to do with the smell more than anything else. But if anyone's got some extra information on that, please do leave it down below because I would be fascinated to hear more on what, what actually helps prevent pests with in coffee. So I know this is quite a short one today, but if you've enjoyed the content, please do give us a like. And for more hints and cheap gardening tips, please do consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Thanks everyone for watching, and we will see you in the next one.